We're in California. This is day two of travel because day one was packed full of adventure. Couldn't even have time to stop and talk about it. We were just soaking it all in, getting off of a five hour flight. It's my dad's first time traveling in like years. So now I'm just walking downtown in little Point Richmond where we're staying and I'm gonna grab some coffee and we're gonna explore a little bit today. We're gonna go to Point Reyes National Seashore and have a lot of fun. <laughs> Point Reyes National Seashore. Sorry, Lakeshore. It's not a Lakeshore. It's the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. And we just saw a whole bunch of seals. It's a sea lion. Too high up, but I can still hear. Oh yeah, I bet they're in that corner over there. Maybe they're around the corner. hiking at Point Reyes National Seashore. We're on the Chimney Tops Trail right now. We just went to the Elephant Seal Overlook and they are very talkative today, which is really cool. And it's just an absolute gorgeous day out. It's blue skies, 60 something degrees, pretty windy, but it really couldn't be nicer out right now. And we've got the trail to ourselves at the moment. I'm not complaining at all. It's pretty low key and chill today. It's a really beautiful day in the park. It was a lot and I was filming through a lot of it but I didn't really get to talk a whole bunch because we were just trying to enjoy ourselves and live in the moment a little bit. Let's start with on Friday. So we went downtown and grabbed breakfast at this place called Little Louie's which was so delicious. The staff was so friendly. It was one of those like you order at the counter and then you go grab a seat somewhere else. They have a cute patio. It was just a very unique and and delicious. Grabbed some coffee at a place down in Berkeley called My Coffee Roastery. Delicious coffee by the way because we were just kind of sick of like plain old Maxwell House coffee that we've been having at like the Airbnbs. So we we're like let's grab something local. Then we headed back to the Airbnb and I proceeded to take a two-hour nap because obviously jet lag and hiking really got the best of me. Well then my sister was getting out of work early that day so we went and picked her up at three and we headed over to Mirror Woods National Monument where we had such an amazing and wild adventure time. Give us a fact about redwoods. They're super tall. Really tall? Really old. Shallow roots. Interesting. They're very, very and old. Most of the redwood trees in Mirror Woods are between five to eight hundred years old. Five hundred to eight hundred years old. Holy moly. 
Very unique that they are so tall, but no, do not have a very deep root structure. Yeah. So they group together in families to hold each other up. Here's a recap of first responder, wilderness first responder. <laughs> Caroline, you said that you'd have to use your skills within three to six months, and what just happened here in Mirror Woods? We just walked past, we're on a like elevated trail right now, so we're on an edge, and we were just trying to take a group picture, my dad, my sister, and I, and a little girl, probably about five, slipped off the edge. And here's what the edges kind of look no like. Problem, no fence. Tumbled down. Very steep, very quick. Thankfully, tumbled down like seven or so feet and was holding on to like some roots. But if she hadn't held on, she would have kept slipping down. And so I kind of jumped down there and pulled her back up and helped her get back up slowly, quickly, and calmly. And yeah. now she's safe. And Yay! Good. <laughs> that was awesome. Way to go, Caroline. So we woke up Saturday morning, me fairly early because I'm still on Michigan time, I started packing up my things because I knew that we weren't going to be coming back to this Airbnb anymore. Well, it would only make sense that I remember to do a tour of our Airbnb on the day that we're checking out. <laughs> so I'm going to take you guys on a little tour of our Airbnb here in Point Richmond where we've stayed at for the past four days, three nights. <laughs> so it is quite beautiful. There's a little bit of stairs to get there. but. Again, you're in San Francisco, so very, very hilly. You start by going down a first short little flight of stairs, and you come to a door where you have this view. Continue down another long flight of stairs. And you're gonna walk on in. This is the little entryway. We're gonna take our shoes off like they ask us to. There is a small little computer room and workspace in there. You go on a couple stairs and you see our first main bathroom where you have a full shower. This is where I used my bathroom because we had two bathrooms and it was just me and my dad staying here for most of the time. So. There's Daddy O packing up. Hello. And then you head into the kitchen. A nice sized kitchen with absolutely everything you could need pots and pans, nice little stove, really cool view out there, a cute little living space with, of course, the office playing. And then you can head on out to the balcony. It's a beautiful balcony with like a glass railing, and it's just. So, in this other door wall is the master bedroom where my dad slept. But we're gonna go back in through the door wall into the living space. And you're gonna head down the very long hallway where they've got a washer and dryer for us. You make a left down here and a nice hall closet with extra linens. And then a three-quarter bath over here that my dad used with just a standing shower. This bedroom is where I slept and then my sister slept for the very last night. Has a nice little desk, closet space, and then a view of Mount Tam. So walking out of our bedroom, heading over to the right is where my dad slept. He did not make his bed yet. <laughs> And he has a beautiful sliding glass door, nice big closet space. 
This Airbnb was super, super cute. I absolutely loved the location. Point Richmond is a 10 out of 10 place to stay. We would totally stay here again. I loved all the amenities that she had here for us. It just felt like I was staying at a home away from home. We were able to do a little cooking. We ate out. I walked to downtown. We drove to downtown. It was super easy. Point Richmond is a wonderful place to stay if you're visiting San Francisco and you want to be away from the busyness a little bit. It's super hilly over here still, but it's so much less busy, it's quiet, it's beautiful. I would have 100% stay here again and again. And we swung by a coffee shop that I had been to a couple times. My sister and I ate a little breakfast, had some coffee, hung out for a second, and then we got on the road to drive out to Yosemite. And now we were staying at an Airbnb in Oakhurst. There are numerous entrances to enter Yosemite National Park. I honestly really liked the Oakhurst entrance. We finally got out to Oakhurst. We got out there a few hours before we could check into our Airbnb. So we hiked at Bass Lake, which is in a national forest, Sierra National Forest. We found this really short, beautiful hike that had really gorgeous view of, of the lake, which reminded me a lot of Torch Lake in Northern Michigan. If you have any idea what Torch Lake is like, just very like boater friendly, houses around, people having a good time. It was really beautiful, gorgeous day out too. We ended up going and checking into our Airbnb, settling down a little bit, and then grabbing our stuff and heading out to the park so that we could get in. 